Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're doing a memory keeping spread for the week of July 26th through August 1st. I have a really pretty kit that I thought I wasn't going to get to use, but I'm using it. It's called Beach Day by Scribble Prince Co. It's beautiful. I don't use a lot of purple kits, but when I do, I always love them. So I was kind of drawn to the purples in this kit. So here are the full boxes, the deco, really cute, glitter headers, boxes and labels, the bottom washi, I think that's so cute and I might want to use that box. And then it also came with two extra boxes here, which I love this scene, it's so cute. All right, I have tons of pictures this week. I don't know how many I'm gonna get to use, but I'm gonna try to use as many as I can. And yeah, I think we're ready to get started. So let's do it. All right, going straight into the bottom washi, which is really beautiful. It's like a beach scene. I'm not really a beachy person, but I can appreciate the beauty of it. And then next I'm just pulling in um, some numbers from the Crafty Banana. I decided I wanted to use the deco from the kit across the top. So I'm just gonna put in some numbers for the dates and just leave the date covers off. Um, I really just wanted to use that deco and it was a little bit larger than what I prefer. So just to save a little space, we're using these tiny numbers, which totally works. And it kind of matches like the vibe of the spread too. I'm then pulling my abbreviated month script from CD stickers. I chose the black for this week since I'm not using foil. And then here I'm just putting in the deco across the top. So I'm just starting with some of the larger pieces and then working in the smaller pieces and just kind of um, letting them fall off the page. This is kind of my favorite way to put in the deco. It just looks so cute. And I really like the color scheme of this kit too, which I'm looking at all the colors right now on the deco. And it's just giving me like late summer vibes. Really cute. And then for my abbreviated monthly script, I'm just gonna layer that over in the top left corner. And it just looks really cute in that way. Like just kind of uh, just sitting there on top of the deco, it's really adorable. So now I'm just trimming off the excess that is laying off of the page and making it look nice and clean. And then here I'm popping in that script just right at the top of the column. For glitter headers this week, I decided just to lean into the purple. And so I'm just putting in those across the top. I thought about doing like a little color blocking this week, but I was just feeling the purple. So I went full on into it. So in the sidebar, which is my journaling section, just threw in a couple of full boxes at the top and the bottom. This is making me want some pink lemonade, real bad. And then I just put in the this week header and the little um, half box there for my favorite moment of the week. We'll come back to that at the end when I've got the spread pretty much done and finish it up. Okay, starting on Monday. So my video that went up this day was my summer favorites video. I just love doing favorites and it's been a while since I'd done a video, so it was good. And then at the top of the column, I wanted to mark in that my classroom is all set up. And during this week, I was finishing up some work days at school before the teachers came back. So I just used a flag to mark in that. And um, the person that I share my classroom and office with um, was also here this week. And so it was good to just kind of get back into a little bit of a routine without it being too stifling just yet. And then I did a really hard workout this day, and here's a picture of me sweating a lot. <laughs> and also, this was kind of the anniversary of my Nani's birthday, my mom's mom, and my mom called this day, and we were just kind of reminiscing about her and her impact on our lives. I still think about her pretty much every day, even though she's been gone for 20 years. It doesn't feel like 20 years. But that um, drawing was done by my uncle. He's a very, very good um, pencil and line drawer. 
artist. He's a true artist. <laughs> um, on the 27th, I have this little, it's a comic, and it's basically making fun of all of the laws around the state that are kind of uh, stifling what teachers can teach, and it's a little frustrating. And so I liked the cartoon that kind of made fun of it a little bit. Um, and then below that, I have a picture of my little to-do list for this week, and I have a note here that I had a really great work day and I talked with all of the administrators at all three campuses in our district and I had a really good conversation with a new teacher as well. Um, he's new to my department as well as our campus. He was there last year but he was doing something else and not really like fully teaching so I'm, gonna, I'm checking in with him pretty much every day and making sure he's doing all right. And then I was feeling crappy by the time I got home and so I decided just to rest stretch and recharge and I noticed how tired I was and we'll adjust some things next week. On the 28th I've started with the full box with the bike which is so cute. Love that box. Probably the most of any full box in the kit. And then I have a picture here in my office. I added some new pictures to um, kind of like behind me and I do have a vlog from this week called the, my workday vlog if you want to check out like what I was up to at school before the teachers came back. I also chose my book for my independent book study for this semester and I chose Not Like the Fire. I have started it and it's really really interesting so far and it's really not I mean the book is about like race conversations but it's you can apply it to like any conversation. It's just kind of been a little eye-opening to read some of his ideas and he's an English teacher which is really nice to hear from a, a teacher and um yeah I really like it so far I'm only like a chapter or two in but I like it and then on the other side I just put in a few um images that I wanted to include and then putting in a couple of full boxes here so on the 30th was my July haul I got a perfect month um on my Apple Watch and I put that on the 31st. It's not going to happen for August. I'm dealing with some health things that I'm trying to work through and get some answers about but I mean it was nice for July to be able to say that I got a perfect month. <laughs> and then I'm just pulling in some more stickers here. This coffee cup is from the Crafty Banana. So on the 29th I met with um my principals and my other instructional coach at school and we worked on some college and career military readiness work. I also went and got some boba after work and um, I love the tweet that's at the top of the 29th. This is um, name something that isn't an Olympic so sport but feels like one and it's teachers eating their whole lunch in the time allotted. It just just made me laugh a little bit. Um, I'm kind of skipping around here, but on the 30th, I finished Never Have I Ever Season 2, and I made a note here that I think I'm Team Paxton now. I mentioned this in another video, and it was hotly debated between Ben and Paxton. I'm still in the middle, but I'm leaning toward Paxton at this moment. I'm not saying that Ben won't, like, come from behind, but at the end of Season 2, I was, like, leaning a little bit more toward Paxton. But let me know down below, are you Team Ben or Team Paxton? Because let's just keep the the uh, conversation going about that because it's been kind of funny so far. On the 30th, I also had lunch with my friend Kat and we went to this great um, Cajun restaurant called Sunday's Kitchen. It was really good. I don't really care for Cajun food, but they had a ton of stuff on their menu that I was like totally drawn to. Really, really yummy. And then on the 31st, I marked in that I had 12... 0.5 thousand subscribers which is amazing and I have a note here that I felt like I was building up momentum again. It's a couple weeks later that I'm filming this voiceover and I'm doubting myself again but I really do enjoy YouTube and even when it's hard I just really still enjoy it so I'm gonna keep doing it for now. And I had a headache kind of all weekend. Not really sure what was the cause of that but I just had like you know a little ache in my head 
And then on the first, I marked in that I was almost done with Outer Banks season two, truly good. I added a quote on the 29th that says, you are not too old and it is not too late. I love that. And the last thing is I finished up Sense and Sensibility. Again, I read Jane Austen books over and over again and Persuasion and Sense and Sensibility are my favorites along with Pride and Prejudice, of course. But I just love Sense and Sensibility. It's just fun and a little bit different from the other books. And then in my journaling section, I marked that although I didn't physically feel well toward the end of the week, I got a lot accomplished and I was super motivated. I'm so looking forward to seeing everyone next week. So all the teachers were coming back and it was just exciting to see everybody again. And then for my favorite moments of the week, I decided to kind of look back at the spread a little bit. And I chose that um, seeing my friend Kat and having lunch with her was my favorite moment because we just had really good food and good conversation. And that's all I really need in life is good food and good conversation. Here's how this spread turned out. It's very pretty. I like all of the colors. They're very like end of summer to me with like the, just the backgrounds and some of these pictures. I just really like it. I think it's pretty and I like this up at the top. I'm glad I kind of layered that up there as well. It's just kind of fun um, and soft and pretty. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.